Once upon a time, Mother Goat and her seven little goats lived happily in a seacoast town with lush vegetation. The seven little goats walked to school happily every morning. They held hands as they walked to school. What's going on? School trip! School trip! School trip? Where? To a faraway place, Paris. Paris? As in Paris, France. Yes! The little goats were so excited about this trip that they couldn't wait to go home and give their mother the good news. Whoever gets home first tells our mother the news. They all ran home as fast as they could and when they finally arrived, their hearts were pounding loud. Mom! 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 What's going on? There's a school trip to Paris. That's great. You should do some research about Paris at once. Where can we get information on Paris, Mommy? We'll look for some information on the internet. The next day, they printed out the information and read it. Whoa! The world's largest museum is in Paris, and it's called Louvre! We have to visit it for sure! But we can't see every inch of it! Why not? It's as big as 10 soccer fields! If we looked at every piece of artwork for a minute, it would take us 73 days to see everything! But there's one masterpiece we must see! Mona Lisa! Wow! I'm so excited! How about this? There are 470,000 trees in Paris. That's a lot. Also, there are 173 museums and 450 parks. Such a city of culture! Let's not forget the Eiffel Tower in Notre Dame. Millions of tourists visit these places every year. <laughs> I was just reading about it. We must definitely see both. Let's add these to our notes. We'll give them to our teacher tomorrow. The little goats jotted down the information until late that evening. Next morning, they told their teacher about what they had learned. Good job, kids. I'll create our itinerary based on your notes. The time for their Paris trip had finally arrived. The little goats went to bed early that night, but they couldn't sleep. They tossed and turned in their beds. They went to the airport. They were so excited to get on the plane for the first time. The flight was uneventful. The students chatted. Just then, one of the little goats couldn't help noticing a familiar face sitting in the back row, trying to disguise himself. When she looked closely, she realized it was Bad Wolf.
He was wearing a fake moustache and glasses, but his long ears and sharp teeth gave him away. Hey, look at the back row without being too obvious. Isn't that the bad wolf? No way! What is he doing here? I wonder what he's up to. Oh no! They probably recognized me. What are these little ghosts doing here anyway? I have to hide now. The bad wolf crawled out of his seat and to the lavatory. He didn't come out until the plane landed. As soon as they arrived in Paris, they went to their hotel. The bad wolf stalked them as he smiled maliciously. <laughs> so we meet again. Have fun while you can, you miserable little ghost. He who laughs last, laughs best. <laughs> The first stop of the trip was the Eiffel Tower. They stood under the tower with mouths agape because of the tower's height. <gasps> it looks much better than in books! Let's climb the tower and watch the scenery. The scenery from atop was beautiful and everything looked so tiny. After they ate some food, they went straight to the Louvre Museum. Why is it so crowded, teacher? Museums are places filled with valuable pieces, so people like to visit them. Museums shed light upon world history. After waiting in a queue, they bought tickets and entered the museum. The bad wolf was not far behind as he stalked them closely. The little goats roamed the museum. The little goats roamed the museum. They stopped before every piece and shared the information with their friends. Their teacher was so proud of them. At the end of such a delightful museum visit, They stopped in front of the most valuable piece in the museum, the Mona Lisa painting. The bad wolf used the crowd to his advantage to get even closer to the little goats. One of the little goats was telling her friend about Mona Lisa. You miserable little goats! Now you're done! I knew it! It was the bad wolf back on the plane! The little goat scampered away, screaming, and the scene was chaotic. Mayhem broke out, as other visitors in the museum also joined in, not knowing what was going on. But the bad wolf stayed put. His true intentions were different. Taking advantage of the stampede, he stole the Mona Lisa painting and tried to run for the exit. He wanted to sell the painting so he could become rich. In the confusion, nobody saw Bad Wolf stealing the painting. However, the youngest of the little goats saw what had happened. He knew he had to stop the big Bad Wolf. Brothers, sisters, follow my voice so you can find me. The other little goats heard the youngest goat's voice and immediately went to him. Are you okay? Did that wretch hurt you? No, he is not here to hurt us. Whoa, why is he running away? What's that in his hand? His plan was to use us to create diversion. 
and steal that valuable painting. We have to bring the painting back. What does the wolf hate the most? <laughs> Taking a bath, of course. We all know how stinky he is. <laughs> then let's give him a bath. How? You've got your slingshot with you? Yes. How about your marbles? Of course. Listen to me closely then. After they finished scheming their plan, two little goats ran after the wolf. The goat that had the slingshot shot a marble at the fire sprinklers in the hallway where the wolf was running. The sprinklers went off as soon as the marble hit. The wolf was caught by surprise. What's going on? Where did all this water come from? I hate getting wet. The other marble coming from the slingshot triggered another sprinkler. The floor was flooded. The bad wolf slipped and fell to the ground, along with the painting. The museum guards arrested the wolf right away. Leonardo da Vinci's famous painting, The Mona Lisa, was hung back to its original place. Later that day, the museum's manager gave a speech to congratulate the seven little goats for their heroic act and presented them with beautiful gifts. When they returned to their town, their mother and townspeople were so proud of them. They carried the little goats on their shoulders to the school. And what about the bad wolf? At first, he stayed in the hospital for a long time. He was charged with grand theft. So, as punishment, he had to mop the museum floors for a whole year. He regretted what he'd done, but it was too late. Once upon a time, Mother Goat and her seven little goats lived happily in a seacoast town with lush vegetation. The seven little goats walked to school happily every morning. today and a great summer vacation awaits. Hooray! We got our report cards! Let the holidays begin! They rushed through the garden gate and banged on the door all together. When Mother Goat opened the door, the little goats who were leaning on the door fell with a big thud. Looky, looky, who's here? My little goats. We've got our report cards, Mom. We all wanted to be first to show it to you. Look at mine first. No, no, mine first. Since you're officially on vacation, I'll cook your favorite meal to celebrate. Yay! Yay! Tell me, what do you want for dinner? Pizza! 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 Okay, okay. Pizza it is then. Come on, let's make it together. Yay! Yay! They made a delicious giant pizza together, adding many ingredients. They put it in the oven. When the pizza was ready, it smelled so good. 
The little goats ate it all. I have a surprise for you, kids. I love surprises. I booked a vacation for all of us. A vacation? Where? Where? I decided to take you to London this summer. Yay! Yay! We're, We're going, going to, to London! London! After brushing their teeth, they gathered in the living room and started getting information on London. This city is almost 2,000 years old. This city is like an open-air museum. A very long river also runs through it. Oh, look what I found. What did you find? I think the cars in England are broken. Why do you say so? <laughs> look, the steering wheels are on the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> in England, the traffic runs on the other side of the road, which is different from many other countries. I want to go now! Let's go to bed early tonight. We'll get everything ready tomorrow. Then, a great vacation awaits us. They went to purchase train tickets first. It was very crowded at the travel agency. Mommy, is it okay if I wait outside? It's so crowded in there. All right, darling, you wait here. Don't talk to strangers. I'll be back soon. Mother Goat was unaware of two prying eyes as she entered the travel agency. The bad wolf was after them as always. Hello, little goat. What are you doing here all alone? I'm not alone. My mom is inside. I'm waiting for her. Is that so? You're such a good boy. I wish every child could be more like you. The little goat trusted the bad wolf's sweet talk and friendliness. Thanks. But my mom told me not to talk to strangers. I'm an old friend of your mother's. I was passing by and I thought I should greet her, but it seems she's busy. So I decided to say hi to you instead. I should let mom know. No, no, let's not disturb her. Tell me, what are you doing here? We're going on vacation tomorrow. We're getting things ready for it. Very nice. Where are you going? London. So you're going to London. I see. I've always wanted to visit that city. So have I. Just then, the bad wolf and mother goat locked eyes. Mother goat realized what was happening and ran to the little goat. Oh, well, uh, I have to go now. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> uh, so close. I almost made it. Ah. Uh. He then got a brilliant idea. He thought he could have the same opportunity in London. Of course. How could I not think of this sooner? The next day, Mother Goat and the seven little goats got on the train. The bad wolf was right behind them in disguise. Wearing a huge hat. The hat was so big that it got stuck in the doors. Such a scene made everyone look at him. Wow, 
Why is everyone looking at me? I'll never know. The wolf sat in a seat with difficulty because of his hat. The little goats enjoyed the train trip as they watched the scenery and played table games. We're in London! Yay! They went to their hotel and left their luggage. The bad wolf was stalking them. He intended to snatch one of the little goats whenever he got a chance. Let's visit the Big Ben first, Mom. It's a big clock tower. Then let's go to the world's largest Ferris wheel. But watch out for the opposite traffic. We wouldn't want to have an accident. They went to Big Ben. How tall? Its gong weighs 13 tons. Wow! Their next stop was the magnificent palace where the Queen lives. Mom! Mom! Look! The Queen is waving at us from the balcony! We're so lucky to see Your Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her crown is so big! They had so much fun together. At Hyde Park, they enjoyed the lush vegetation and watching the playful squirrels. They ate lunch by the lake, played ball together and lay down on the grass. All right, it's time for London Eye, the big Ferris wheel. If you're all ready, let's go. We're ready! Mother Goat sensed something was wrong. Then she noticed the youngest goat was missing. Kids, where's your brother? Here. <laughs> Give him back to me, bad wolf. <laughs> Come and get him if you can. <laughs> He's running towards the Ferris wheel. I learned of a shortcut I found on the internet. Follow me. They took the shortcut and caught up to the wolf right under the Ferris wheel. Mother goat and the little goat surrounded the bad wolf. Wolf couldn't find a way out, so he jumped on the Ferris wheel. You'll never catch me! <laughs> Mother Goat stopped the Ferris wheel when the wolf's capsule reached the very top. The other goat started to climb upward. Let's give him a good shake to frighten him. Help! Uh, save me! I, I, I hate it! I hate it that it's swaying! Wolf was so afraid that he let go of the little goat and held onto the structure tightly. Please! Stop! I am so sorry! You can't get away that easily, Bad Wolf. You'll pay for what you did first! The Bad Wolf couldn't take it anymore and jumped into the River Thames. Oh. 
the river police on duty took him away. We should learn a lesson from this, my darlings. With bad people like Wolf around, we always have to be careful. You're, You're right, right, Mommy! Mommy. Mother Goat and the little goats forgot about this incident and went everywhere in London. They took a lot of pictures and had a wonderful vacation. Then they returned to their farm with great memories. Once upon a time, seven little goats and their mother lived happily in a sunny little town. The seven little goats walked merrily to school every day. One day, their teacher talked to the students about famous structures built by the Spanish architect Antoni Gaudi. Teacher, what does architect mean? An architect is a person that sketches the blueprints of the buildings we see around, such as houses, schools and hospitals. They follow some construction rules and make sure the buildings are safe. Kids, did you know that Gaudi used nature as inspiration for his buildings? He designed the interior walls of buildings resembling three bark and spiral stairs that's similar to that of a snail shell. Teacher, I'm curious about these buildings. Where can I find them? These buildings are in Barcelona, in Spain. After school, the little goats returned home and their mother greeted each one with a kiss. One of the little goats shared what they had learned about the Spanish architect. Mom, can we go to Barcelona? All right, kids. Let's all go on a weekend trip. Yay! The seven little goats were so excited about their trip that they couldn't stop talking about it everywhere. All the townspeople, as well as the wolf, heard about the little goat's trip to Barcelona. They set out for Barcelona on the weekend. After the car trip, they left their luggage in their hotel room. Mother Goat gathered the little goats around her. Our first stop is Architect Gaudi's Park Güell. Let's go! As the little goats followed their mum, the last one walking in line thought he had seen the wolf in the hotel lobby. When they arrived at Park Güell, they visited the buildings that seemed to be made of sugar and cookies. They strolled happily in the terrace that resembled ocean waves made of colourful glass and tiles. While the happy goats roamed around excitedly, the wolf in disguise offered an apple from his basket to one of the little goats. The little goat, however, recognised Wolf's hands and ran to his mother. The wolf knew then that he couldn't easily fool the little goat. Mom! Mom! There's someone over there! Where, sweetie? He's gone. That's weird. Never mind, Mom. 
The next stop was artist Salvador Dali's house, which had been turned into a museum. One of the little goats noticed an artist among the crowd, painting in the corner, and thought it was the wolf. Wolf took advantage of the crowd and tried to put the little goat into his satchel. Uh, uh, you bad wolf! Take that! <laughs> the bad wolf once again had failed, so he ran away. This wolf doesn't give up! Let's be careful and not get separated! Yeah, he even grew a moustache, thinking we wouldn't be able to recognize him. Where are you, kids? Don't go far. Remember, evil wolves can be anywhere. There's nothing to be scared of, Mom. We took care of it. <laughs> Let's go inside and view the artworks. Tonight, we're going to see a flamenco show. We shouldn't be late to the hotel. After the museum, Mother Goat and the Little Goats returned to the hotel and got ready to see the show. What kind of a dance is flamenco? Dancers try to express their emotions through the tapping of their feet, intricate hands and body movements. They wear special costumes. Yes, yes, colorful dresses, but mostly red. I'm curious. We'll see them tonight. Come on, let's hurry! In the evening, the little goats went to see the show, not knowing that Wolf would be there too. When the show was about to start, the youngest goat suspected one of the dancers was Wolf himself. Mom, look! Shh! Be quiet, the show has started. Mother Goat didn't recognize Wolf and watched the show delightedly. The youngest goat went backstage to expose Wolf. One of the little goats saw his brother leave, so he followed him. While dancing, Wolf watched the little goat's every move. So when he saw him enter the backstage, he exited the stage, still dancing. Wolf caught the goat and quickly put him in his satchel. As he was about to escape, he ran into the second little goat, who followed his siblings. I know who you are. Oh, do you now? Then tell me who I am. You are the bad wolf. Let go, my siblings. No way. You'll have to catch me first. <laughs> At that moment, Wolf got back on the stage. The little goat, who was trying to blend in with the dancers, spotted his mother and siblings among the spectators. Mother Goat was engrossed in the show, but got surprised when she saw the little goat dancing on the stage. Oh no! What's your brother doing on the stage? Yeah! That's our brother! And the one dancing and holding the satchel is the bad wolf. At that moment, the rhythm changed to a quicker pace. With a big thud, Wolf tripped and fell down in the middle of the stage. His wig fell off his head. The little goat got out of the satchel that the wolf had dropped. Mother goat stood up in a state of nerves. It's bad wolf! Get him! Mother Goat and the little goats ran onto the stage and began to headbutt Wolf. Oh, 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 my back, my feet, 
<sighs> Bad Wolf escaped again. Let's try to forget about this incident. It's been a tiring day. Let's go to bed. Good morning, kids. Guess where we're going today? Where, Mommy? Where? To the statue of Christopher Columbus. Who is that, Mommy? I'll tell you about him once we get there. Christopher Columbus was an Italian sailor, explorer, and colonizer. He crossed the Atlantic Ocean, sailing on his ship, and discovered new places. The American continent is one of them. How interesting! What an adventure! I'd like to explore new places too! Meanwhile, Wolf was in a Christopher Columbus disguise. None of the goats recognized him. Wolf hadn't given up and was still after them. He approached the three little goats walking in the back and distracted them by talking about ships and the ocean. Come, I'll show you my ship. Yay! <laughs> Excited, the little goats followed Wolf. Wolf boarded the ship with the little goats. He removed his hat and wig and made himself known to the little goats. Set sail and you cannot escape now. <laughs> ha! Think again, bad wolf. Come on, guys, jump! The little goats jumped and caught the sail. The mainsail spun in its place and around the mast. Due to the goat's weight, and pushed wolf into the sea. Beat me again, but I'll never give up. Mommy, help. <laughs> they made me board the ship, officer. I'm innocent, I swear. <laughs> I hate getting wet. <laughs> we watched everything from the surveillance cameras, Bad Wolf. We know you're lying. I'm so sorry. Please let me go. I won't do that again. Forget it, you'll get your punishment first. For two months, you'll be picking garbage on the shore. No, I hate getting wet. <laughs> I Hey guys! Subscribe to our channel Kondo-san and watch the most popular fairy tales, cartoons, and nursery rhymes. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications.